This technology could be applied to um, other cancers. Um, we're also we're interested in predicting either recurrence um, or response to therapy. New findings from McGill University in partnership with l'Université Laval could revolutionize the treatment of lung cancer. The disease has long been Canada's leading cause of cancer-related death, but a new study suggests artificial intelligence can now predict a patient's risk of recurrence of cancer with 95.9 percent accuracy. If we were able to know which patients would have a recurrence, we would be able to offer these uh, patients a treatment like chemotherapy in order to uh, cure them. And the patients that are simply cured by surgery and will not have a recurrence, um, we could spare them the toxicities of chemotherapy. The research team combined AI with a new technology known as imaging mass cytometry. It basically profiles um, both the identity and location of cells in the tumor microenvironment. What this technology allows us to do is to profile these different cell types with up to 50 different markers. Each marker used as a tool to help differentiate cancer cells from cells that are immune. Mark says this research goes far beyond what is available in clinical practice now. What they have in hospitals is called immunofluorescence, which is a similar technology. The only difference being that instead of being able to use up to 50 different markers, um, usually in clinic they can only use up to three markers. With the use of six markers, we were able to have a prediction accuracy of 93% in, ter in terms of which patients would or would not have a recurrence um, after surgery. According to statistics, lung cancer kills more Canadians than breast, colorectal and prostate cancer combined. This was a huge collaborative effort and our, our end goal is always to, to benefit patients, so we're going to keep, keep working in order to do that. In Montreal. Anastasia Dextreen, City News.